Greetings. This is Peter the Warner Brothers Universal and Paramount Fan 2002 here. On this episode of my TV show review series, I will be reviewing on the 2010 show, and that is Angelo Rules. The show was based on the book series Comment Fair in Rager by Sylvie de Matthew Isilks and Sebastian Dionogent. The show was originally aired on France 3, France 4, and Teletoon Plus in France, Super RTL in Germany, Cartoon Network and Boomerang in other countries. On to the characters. Number 1. Angelo Lawrence. He is smart, creative and friendly, and is always coming up with strategic plans to be able to deal with problems. He is always counting on the help of his friends. Sherwood and Lola, and he never lets them down. He also tries to keep them together when they are fighting with each other. He has a good relationship with most of the other characters in the show, even the school bully Manette. He's brave and loves challenges, and he never gives up on being able to win or get what he wants. He is always willing to help anyone who is in trouble or going through a difficult time. He's very good at sports, especially basketball and skateboarding. Like almost every character on the show, he is a unique and well done character design. Number 2. Sherwood Forest. He's funny, friendly, smart and helpful, and he's always there to help his friends make their plans. Like his friends, he also loves sports, but especially skateboarding. Like the other characters in the show, he has a good and unique design. He has a lot of funny moments, and can be considered the silly kid of the trio. He is very talented in everything related to electronics. He is considered the smartest boy in his school. Number 3, Lola. She is smart, helpful and sensitive, and like Angelo, she always accepts challenges. She is also very confident and loves video games. She is very enthusiastic and fun and that's why she really enjoys making others laugh telling her own jokes or playing pranks on them. She always encourages Angelo to follow through with his strategic plans. Like her friends, she's very good at sports, but mostly skateboarding. Like Angelo and the other characters on the show, she has a unique, well done, likeable character design. She has a good relationship with Angelo and Sherwood and gets along well with the other characters on the show. She is helpful even when using her cell phone, as she uses it to help the group, like in the episode Detention where she uses her cell phone to trick the teacher and get her friends out of detention. Without her, some of the group's brilliant ideas would be missing. Number 4. Walter Manetti. Despite being a bully, he's not that obnoxious and he's generally calm, and he's also not such an exaggerated personality, unlike many other bullies portrayed in cartoons. He is seen socializing and even helping other characters throughout the series which is quite unusual for a bully character. Just like the other characters in the show, he has a good and unique design. He has other talents besides being a bully, like playing the violin. He's easygoing and generally protects characters who do something for him, like saving his life. This is shown in an episode where Angelo inadvertently saves him from being choked and he ends up becoming Angelo's back garden, protecting him from danger. At the end of the same episode he does the same thing with Butterfingers, who is one of his biggest targets of bullying. He rarely physically assaults anyone, and is more often seen playing pranks with a blowgun than bullying, which is more acceptable for a bully. He is quite nice to his little brother Cooper, and is never seen mistreating him. Unlike what he does to other people. In one episode, Angelo and Lola turned Manetti into a nice person and he became kind and helpful, but for a short while. He has a lot of funny moments on the show, and has even spawned a few memes in the French community like his catchphrase Manetti out, Manetti is drows. And number 5. Tracy Flickinger. She can catch Angelo's plans quite easily and shows great optimism and self-confidence in her actions, but it always comes back to her later. She starts helping Angelo from time to time, especially when she's in trouble too. She has a good role as the show's antagonist and Angelo's rival. She at least has a reason to despise Angelo, as in her debut episode, Angelo and Sherwood scoffed at her name, like Angelo, Lola and Sherwood. She loves challenges and never gives up so easily. Her character design is decent, although a little stereotyped and not as original as the others. Like Angelo, she is very smart. I even remember watching this show on Cartoon Network back in 2010, and I totally enjoyed it. That show is number 3 on my top 10 favorite French shows list. 
10 out of 10. This is one of the greatest shows in the era of modern Cartoon Network. This concludes my review. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next review. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.